Charlie, there's a menu of options on the revenue side and on the entitlement side. And as long as there are two parties that are willing to solve this problem, this is a very easy thing to do technically. What it takes is political courage. And what I've seen around here is a lot of folks uh, constantly want to make uh, tough decisions later and down the road. But the easiest and best thing we can do for this country is to go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off, make these decisions, and in January, we'll see an economy that will take off. We can focus on the greatness of this country January 1st if we'll go ahead and do the work that we all know we have plenty of time to get done this year. Well, the package that I've laid out has over a trillion in revenues. It has the 750 you just alluded to, but we also do chained CPI, and in that you not only reduce the rate at which benefits grow, but it also moves people into brackets more quickly. Also, Social Security was set up to capture 90% of the wages in our country. Now it's at 84%. If you move that up gradually through 2050, it generates a lot more revenue. So there's over a trillion dollars in this package, and Nora, I don't know of a Republican who's actually written a bill that has over a trillion dollars in revenues, but it does. But it's coupled with real entitlement reform and those are the two ends of the spectrum and it takes two parties that are willing to sit down and really deal with this issue to make this happen uh, it's that political courage that we need not not worries about whether we can technically make this happen or not